Hi there. So yesterday I posted a video on going through the OpenAI Assistant API and I went through the five step process that they have about like the Assistant API, the threads, the add message, the run, the display assistant response. But some of the comments were like, how does the front end work? How does this front end work? work whereas i can send a message like a chat interface got this loading spinner icon i'm checking the response and once it's done it returns back the result and it actually just displays the data uh, in the front end as well so it does take a while it is a little bit it's not slow i think slow is a different uh, aspect to it uh, but it's got a few limitations so before going into it i'll just add a few limitations as the API rolls out of beta, it will improve. One is streaming. You saw that streaming, it didn't stream, it just bang, output here. Uh, streaming in Bubble is hard, so it's something I'll look at once this is out a bit more closely as to how we can work. I think there's a plugin out there, uh, but I have to still investigate. Uh, the other is notifications to share object status updates without polling. So we're checking every second. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Nope, not good. So these notifications will come through. I'm sure with notifications and streaming, it's going to be a much smoother experience, more like ChatGPT like. And there's other stuff happening as well. Okay. Now, uh, how does it work? So it's very simple. First, let's look at the database. I only have a thread ID. I've got one table, threads, and I've got one text, thread ID. Everything else is in the front end, okay? If the whole context is saved. So previously, there was a whole heavy back end. At the moment, for a very simplistic implementation, we just have the thread ID, that's all. Okay, so I've got a user, thread ID, nothing complicated over here. Now, in my page itself, I've got, I'll just walk through what's happening step by step. I think that's the easiest way uh, instead of trying to remake it. So I'll just go slow, start new chat. So I create a thread. Oops, I should, uh, I didn't want slow. I wanted to run next, but okay. Create, uh, that's gonna interfere. Okay, no, I didn't want to click send actually. I wanted to click start new chat, uh, but good. No worries. So we first on, on page load or on new chat initialization, whatever, you just want to create a thread. Okay. So start new chat. One second. I'll explain that loop in a bit. Okay. Start new chat, create a thread. Very simple. Create uh, one this open AI thread. Now it's in the database and we save result of step one. So it's like, oh, I just want to save my thread ID. It's saved. Now, after that, I have a state in my page this is just uh, me just saving the state the current selected thread i want to open that thread in the chat window at the bottom so i just like okay i'll just save it in a state simple selected thread id so i save it in the state and then ignore this open ai message not needed okay so now that i've created a thread uh i've got a blank chat window uh, a blank thread started with open ai now i can type anything here how does ai assistant api work okay and when i click send uh, i've created the send and run so if you look at the playground uh they've got two approaches i can add message add message add message it's not run the actual ai yet so there's no response it's not thinking or anything test add message nothing done yet how many test messages above add and run so now it's like you get this message and also run it. And it's like, okay, there are three instances where the term test message or add message appears in the previous message. I was like one, two, three. Okay, smart. The implementation we uh, I've made is add the message and run it. Okay. Yeah. Button send is click. Okay. So create a message in OpenAI. Okay. Uh, reset relevant input. So this disappears. Okay. Now create a notice. There's nothing at the top yet. Okay. We don't have this database saved. Uh, this is in OpenAI, so this is not save the messages are not saving in our uh, backend at the moment, uh, and potentially not needed even. So create a run, okay? All right, I've created a run. I've saved my run index in a state, so I've got my state here, custom state on the page, run ID. Just want to save the run state, and when I've saved the run, I also want to refresh get messages again, okay? I want all the messages of the same thread, even though I loaded it a while ago, but I've sent a message, so I'm like, okay, uh, I want to get the messages back, a, a fresh version. 
and at this point i also display that list in the repeating group so result of step five all the messages in your instance display it again so now it's like how does open AI, how does ai assistant api work that's my message so i pushed the message to open ai then I got the list of messages in the thread back from OpenAI and I'm displaying it again in the repeating group. And there's just a scroll to repeating group so that it can just move a bit nicely, not necessarily. So now what do we have do every one second? So at the moment, again, just to, there's limitations. It doesn't notify, there's no webhook, there's no callback, there's no way to know that OpenAI is done by thinking and the result is ready to catch every second is the run id not empty if it's empty don't poll if it's not empty okay we need to poll so get the run okay uh get the run this is the thread id this is the run id once you get it is the result status completed or in progress if it's in progress it just pokes that uh in progress again let me try and show you that apart so run not logged in as somebody or does ascii five step scoping process work so i click submit uh it's just gonna keep polling 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 one second checking 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 there's a terminate workflows to not do the rest of the checks if it's like not done if it's in progress terminate this workflow okay if it's not in progress if it's, it's completed we're guessing here okay in its complete status is completed okay now display done that's just visual indication not necessarily then i again get messages uh, i've got my kind of api call of uh, which thread to get the messages on and i've just display those messages again into the repeating group and scroll to the entry uh, down below uh, and just rinse and repeat. Now, the other subtle little thing about summarize ASCII scoping process. And if I go here, I've got a little UX, this loading spinner icon. Uh, it's just on the, it's just a special icon to uh, give a bit of a UX tweak to it. Uh, the conditional is a little bit tricky, but I mean, once you get break it down, it's fairly straightforward. So is the latest message by a user? Is the run ID not empty? And we are the last index. We are like the current cell index is the get messages action count kind of thing. The latest message, the role is user. Okay. The run index is not empty. The run state is not empty, meaning we're not in a running mode. And current cell index, if it's 20, and the repeating group list of messages is still 20, display this icon. So you, it doesn't have to be this icon, but it's just some indication, maybe disable the send button, do something. So even Playground does the same thing. So summarize ASCII scoping process. And now see, cancel run is here. This circle spinning icon is here. The add again is blocked. You don't want to mess up the AI too much with too many messages in the middle. Just wait, wait for it, wait for it about six seven seconds i think my summarize ascii yeah and it's just like bang here it is so that i think gives an overview yeah the top is just a database do a search repeating group do a search list of threads and if i click view thread it just sets the state and displays repeating group i can show that as well so group threads is clicked set states current cell thread again get messages in the action call display list in repeating group scroll to enter your repeating group if you're confused about the action call it's like in the plugin api connector get list of messages instead of use as data where you can put it in the repeating source data just use as action and then you can use this as a workflow action and use the result of step one uh, part as well so that covers uh, the front end basic kind of like how does this currently work i'm fairly sure if, uh, not if, when the streaming output comes and notification comes, there will be more front end work to make it even more simpler, but that'll just make it much easier as well. Uh, and there, there's a whole host of other front end work here. Uh, so for example, I can in playground retrieval or code interpreter retrieval. Uh, what is the current weather in Dubai? I have a feeling it will check Bing for it and then come back. ChatGPT does is AI assistant. I forgot his AI assistant 
it's not connected to the interpret uh, into code interpreter is no not code so it doesn't have the browsing one it'll come uh, but it sometimes like shows an icon saying checking knowledge base doing something doing something doing something so there's more stuff there's more functions here and the api is more rich here as well one step at a time one api call at a time but the next one i'm planning on is more around actually creating assistance because through api it should be fairly straightforward uh but how to upload a file through api and how to upload how to create assistance more like a SaaS like behavior uh but yeah if you do like this video thank you very much for listening please do thumbs up and if you want uh if you have a particular question do kind of leave a drop a comment below and the usual subscribe to the channel and if you want help uh on your ai powered project or not AI powered project. I run a bubble agency. We build client projects all day, every day. Uh, so get in touch. Thanks. Bye.